Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20. Welcome to my Minecraft version 1.0.0 Let's Play, featuring a whole bunch of mods. Specifically, I'm going to be using Buildcraft Logistics Pipes, which is an add-on for Buildcraft, as well as additional pipes. I'm going to be using Craft Guide, Equivalent Exchange, Forestry, Industrial Craft 2, Portal Gun, Railcraft, Red Power 2, Wireless Redstone, and that's about it for now, but there might be some more getting added in later. I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new world. Let's call it our Let's Play world. And just to use a seed, I'm going to call it Direwolf's Let's Play. With two exclamation points, why not? Great world. Let's see what kind of magical wonders are awaiting us. So I've got all these mods installed, and for those of you who haven't seen my other Let's Play series, I do things a little bit differently. Um, I like to utilize the mods and build some complex automated systems. Oh, look at this nice place I landed in. Cool. I like to build a lot of neat stuff, and look at this, I spawned right next to some oil. I don't think I could have asked for a better spawn. <laughs> oh, that's pretty nice. Now I do like to uh, cut out some of the boring bits in my Let's Play series, like mining and all that stuff, um, but I will occasionally go ahead and do it. Let's see, what do I got over here? Is that a uh, is that an industrial craft rubber tree, per chance? I think it is. Neat. So why don't I get situated in this world for just a few moments, give it a moment to load and look around, and I'll be back, and I'm probably going to start right here by this oil spawn, because hey, if I'm going to spawn right next to Buildcraft Oil, I'll take it. Alright, so I'm probably going to build somewhere around this nice big oil spawn here. This is a nice flat little area to build a little house. I've even got some water and uh, some farm animals here to start getting some food. Uh, let's start off like we start every game. Oh, dude, I spawned right next to a lava lake? Are you serious? Awesome. I'm pretty sure this is probably the best spawn ever. Hey, I've got wood. Punching wood. Can't beat that. Quite a bit of farm animals. Holy cow. We got enough pigs and chickens and stuff around here? Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and build myself some goodies, and I will be back shortly. I'm just going to be collecting some wood and doing the standard boring stuff that usually happens early on. Um, if I have anything interesting to show you guys, I'll definitely be back. So I take a few steps away from this awesome lava lake here, and I find that I'm right near what looks like the entrance to a ravine. If I look down there, you can see there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. There's a good amount of red power 2 marble, some copper, some coal, some iron. Very nice. I'm definitely going to need to get myself some stone here, because I don't want to use a, a wooden pickaxe for too long. Very cool. And I might even take down some of these animals, even though a lot of them will be around for a while here. I need to get myself some food to start off with. So I'll make myself a sword. And probably a pickaxe. Good idea. And let's pick back up our crafting table. Oh, that was a long fall. Did not want to go all the way down there, but oh well. Might as well get myself some of this nifty looking coal. Here is the water look a little different than usual. Oh well. I'm gonna mine up some more goodies here, and I'll be back shortly once I've found some more cool stuff. I do need to get a. Uh, whoa! All right, found some cool stuff, huh? <laughs> Looks like I encountered a creeper down there. I did not see that coming. So I'm just gonna make a quick run back to my corpse and uh, collect all my goodies again. Not that I had a terribly large amount of items. Now, I was straight down here. Don't 
want to be hanging out in the dark too long. Alright, I'm going to get myself situated here in just a few minutes, guys, and I'll be back. And by the way, like I said, I'm not going to be using too many items here. It is installed, as you saw, but I'm pretty much turning that guy off, and I'm not going to be using him at all. I'm playing this world entirely legit. Um, I just have it installed for testing purposes, and if I do some more mod spotlights in the future. Um, so, the way I usually start off a world is just start exploring right around me. I do like to start near some uh, Buildcraft oil, because it's relatively rare. And, uh, luckily I found some right next to me. And I'm also going to need some red power, uh, some industrial craft rubber trees. So, I've got those, which is nice. And then what I tend to do is just start spelunking. And that's basically me running around looking for some nice resources all around me. And I kind of lucked out in this world because I spawned in this nice ravine here. And oh look, sweet iron. Spelunking is probably the best way to get started. Um, at some point, obviously, I'm going to build a uh, tunnel system and start mining you know, using tunnels, which is a little bit safer, uh, but spelunking makes it quick and easy to find a good amount of ores. So you can see I'm collecting a significant amount of copper and iron here, um, which I'm going to definitely need for some of my first industrial craft machines. And of course I'm collecting stone, which is nice to have. And because these are forge add-ons, I can use red power ores and industrial craft ores interchangeably. Which is excellent. And speaking of red power ores, look! We've got a really nice set of ores that I need iron to mine, oh my. Let's get a quick system to mine that up, because those are some really nice items right there. I'm gonna need to get myself a furnace. And I'm going to smelt some of this iron. Might as well use my entire piece of coal and smelt all eight pieces of iron. And while I'm waiting for that iron, I'm going to go ahead and collect some of the coal that's sitting here. Now I mentioned I don't often show myself mining, but I figured for the first video, why don't I show myself getting pretty well situated, um, you know. As uh, my Let's Play series progresses, I'm going to focus more on the builds that I'm doing and more on, you know, all the crazy machines that all these add-ons give us. But for now, heck, why not? Not much else to do but collect resources to start off with. And I am going to have to find my way out of this little valley soon. That shouldn't be a problem. Unfortunately, I do have to get an iron pickaxe here. That's okay. Because I'm collecting myself some emerald. Which is a great, great item. Um, emerald is added with red power too. And right now, it doesn't have too much of a use in red power to itself. Um, but coming soon, it's going to have some cool stuff. Uh, it's actual use right now, which is especially nice, is that emeralds when they're used for tools, like my emerald pickaxe that I just made, have the same speed as diamond. And they're a bit more common than diamond, as you just saw. So you're not going to have too much use for your emeralds just yet, but they're great for making tools. So definitely recommend you guys do that. And we can head out of this little section here. Oh, there's some more stuff going on. Let's get this copper real quick, why not? So you can see how quickly it mines, which is nice. And it looks like it might be getting dark out, so I'm probably going to need to get into some shelter. And ooh, did I just find some Appetite? I did. Appetite is a forestry mod item, uh, specifically used pretty much as a fertilizer uh, in some of the machines that we can build in forestry. So that's cool. Now let's see, do I have enough cobblestone to build my way out of this little hole that I found myself in? Yep, looking 
good. Good amount of light right here. I would have appreciated it if there were still some sheep around. Ah, uh, there's a sheep. And I even have the iron to make shears. Typically I wouldn't use iron to make shears this quickly, but I need a bed to get through the night. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. And I think I saw some sheep all the way back here in the distance. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, sir. And I think it would probably be... Hey, an egg. Nice. I'm going to need that later as well. Probably be a good idea to find some shelter at this point because, uh, hey. Bad guys are bad. Speaking of bad guys, we've got one right here. So I'm going to need a shovel real fast, and I apologize uh, to the YouTube community that you might not be seeing too clearly what's happening. Ah, uh, this will do. I didn't need a shovel after all. Hey, light. Awesome. Typically, I tend to start my worlds by building a little cave for myself to live in. And, uh, you know. Just get myself situated with the resources I'm going to need to really start my industrial craft, build craft, and whatever other mods I got going on world. So that'll be good for now, and I can place down... I left my crafting table outside. Oh well, what's four wood? So you can see, by spelunking, I've already collected a good amount of iron, a significant amount of copper, as a matter of fact, and a couple of nice little items here. And uh, I'm now going to take that wool that I got and make myself a bed. Like I said, bad guys are bad. Perfect. A nice little home. Because this is such an awesome spawn, I've got some copper and other cool stuff hanging out right next to my house. Again, best spawn ever. Sorry, Mr. Pig. But I need food and experience. Now that looks like a rubber tree, but I'm not 100% sure. Really looks like one. Oh yeah, it is. Perfect. Already got myself a rubber tree and some saplings. Like I said, best spawn ever. I'm definitely going to be utilizing that wood soon. Now this... Might also be a rubber tree, but I'm not sure. They look like one to me. Oh well. I don't think these guys are. That guy's one. Awesome. Yep, and this guy. Holy cow. I've got like a rubber tree forest right outside my front door. Why am I breaking off all these little leaves here, guys? Well, good reason. Uh, I want their um, saplings. Rubber tree saplings will be useful because it will allow me to create my own rubber tree farm a little bit more organized in the future. Um, but for now, it's a good way to get your rubber. And I'll leave these guys here because I don't want to go knocking down rubber trees. That would not be cool of me. Not this early in the game, at least. found myself a couple items from some enemies that have died last night. So what I think I'm going to do now is kind of work my way into a spot where I can uh, start building a house for myself. Usually I like to start off by just getting, uh, you know, some basic supplies, which I've already kind of done. Um, I'm going to need a house to live in, though. And this open plane here that I'm in will probably serve me pretty well for building a house. 
probably going to build... I'll probably actually clear out some of this border that's around here. Oh look, squid. Nice. Squid ink is used in some of the recipes and the add-ons that I'm using, so I'm going to collect it now while these guys are around. It'll save me having to find some later. Very cool. Some reeds in the background there. Like I said, this spawn point seems to have just gotten me everything I need, which is really nice. Alright, so let me get situated a few minutes here, guys. I'm going to cut off the video, and I'll be back shortly. And, ooh, look at that. That might be a volcano in the background. Awesome. Alright, guys. Haven't done much at all since I left you a moment ago. Uh, but one thing I'm going to do here is start building out of this little cave area, and I need a good amount of cobble, at least, to build the first bit of my house from. So why don't I go digging in this cave? So this temporary cave that I built here, which was only going to be my home for a little bit, is now going to become the area where I start mining. And the way I'm going to manage this is to just start mining straight down. And this awesome little pick I have, Emerald Pickaxe, using emeralds from Red Power 2, is really going to help me mine because, like I said, it's pretty common material, it's not used too much right now, and it has the same breaking speed as diamond. It doesn't last quite as long as diamond does, but hey, you can't have everything, can you? So what I'm doing right now is just digging straight down, using a staircase-like pattern. Um, giving myself plenty of headroom, because I don't like bumping my head up against the wall as I'm digging down. And you can see there's a good amount of copper coming up in this cave system here, so I must have landed in a pretty nice spot. And I will be happy to take all that copper. This way I'll be able to just jump my way out, and eventually I'll be placing stairs here to get up and down in my system. But for now, jumping out will work. Of course it's optional to cover up the holes that you have, but I think it looks nice when you uh, go ahead and do that. And I tend to put a lot of torches down. You might be saying, why do I do that so much? Uh, basically I want you guys to be able to see what's happening. YouTube and dark videos do not go well together. So I'll be putting torches pretty much everywhere I can to make sure that you guys can all see what's happening. And stumbled upon some more coal, which is always welcome. And remember, I'm more interested even so than, uh, than getting stone down here. I want to get a good amount of resources. But stone is also an important piece of what I need right now, because I need to build a house. And I tend to like using cobblestone as a building material. Don't ask me why. Well, probably because it's just so so darn common. So, I feel like uh, I don't have much else to babble on about while I'm mining here, so I'm just going to be digging down. So I'm going to clip off the video, and I'll be back shortly if uh, anything interesting happens, or once I've, you know, filled up my inventory a bit. And, oh look, tin! Alright, so it looks like I got about to Y level 35. My inventory is getting rather full. So I'm just going to head back upstairs here and start building my house. Now I've got a good amount of stone, maybe not quite enough, but eh, what the heck, I'll be good for now. I just need to build a little house. I'm also going to need to build uh, some storage, so I'm going to need some more wood. And let's see what the world looks like outside. A little dark, so let's get through that by sleeping. And you can also see I'm having some hunger issues here, so I should probably lay down that furnace that I made earlier and start cooking up some meat. One piece of coal ought to take care of that seven pieces of meat there. So I'll just wait for the first one and then let the others cook while I start to build my house. Delicious. So, where do I want to start building? I think right here might be good. been watching my videos for a while, you know I tend to build square houses, and I'm not going to deviate from that too much just yet. And 
typically I like to have my houses nine by nine. Uh, the walls should be odd numbered just because I like the way it looks when there's a centered doorway. I don't like it when the doorway is off centered. Call me a little bit of uh, OCD freak, but that's the way I am. And now let's get the house built. Well, looks like I got a significant amount of the house built, but I need a little bit more stone. So I'm going to go dig some out of the ground real quick. So I've already broken that nice little green pickaxe I had, and I was about to wrap up, but I stumbled upon some iron here. So I'm going to go ahead and mine that up real quick, and then head back out to my house as I've got a little bit over a stack of uh, stone here. Yeah, it looks like almost two stacks even. And that should get me going. And since I made this iron pickaxe, I don't want to let it go to waste, so I'm going to use it for a little bit. And you can see I just got inside this uh, long cave system here. Let's see, did it get out? No, it's not dark yet. Nice. What a lovely home. Now I'm going to go collect uh, a couple items from the temporary house that I had here. Yeah, I'll be back for these guys in a moment. I'm definitely going to need to get myself some more wood here. You can see I rushed through the wood stage, but that's alright. This looks like a nice place for a bed. While I'm at it, let me go outside and get my wood. I thought I had an axe here. Where is it? Oh well. I don't know what I did with my axe, but that's alright. I'm just gonna pick up this guy. And make a quick dash back outside. I'm gonna move my crafting table into my house as well here. And craft myself a pickaxe. Let's go with stone, I'm sure is good. I'm sorry, not a pickaxe. A stone axe. I need some wood. Can't believe I spawned near so many rubber trees. That's like the best luck ever. Pretty nice looking volcano there in the distance too. I can't wait to start exploring this world. I suspect there's a lot of cool stuff right near me. Alright, for now I'm just going to wrap up this little segment. I'm going to run around and collect some wood for just a little bit. Probably at least until it gets dark or I've run out of wood trees to collect from. And I'll be back uh, once I have some interesting stuff to show you guys. And as you can maybe see, maybe not, it's starting to get dark out here. I collected a good amount of wood, at least for now. I'm going to run around and collect all the uh, saplings that dropped on the ground as a result of the leaves automatically breaking. Looks pretty much like I collected most of them. And now I need to make a run for my house because it looks like we're going to have some enemies out here momentarily. Probably a good idea if I lit up the interior of my house as well. Yeah, we got zombies. Let's make ourselves a door real quick.
and sleep through the night. And I'm going to be placing some glass up here, but for now I think we're in good shape. What I do need, however, I need four chests. Store all this junk in that I've collected. And because I don't really have much room to expand my house, I'm going to be storing everything in just a handful of chests. Kind of a uh, grouping of useful items. And a grouping of not so useful items. Of course, I shouldn't say those things aren't useful. They'll be useful soon enough, but uh, for now, I think we don't need too many of those things. I'll call this junk, too. And I'll probably have a lot more uh, separation of items going forward, as you guys usually see me do, but for now, I think we're in good shape. Let's go over here and collect our uh, stuff that we made earlier. Having food is always nice. Now I'm going to need to get downstairs and back to mining for a bit, because uh, one of the first things I like to do in a world is start utilizing all this awesome uh, industrial craft toys. So I need to get a macerator and a refiner up, I need to get a generator, I need to get all kinds of cool stuff going. So I'm going to mine for a little bit. I think I'm going to wrap up episode one of my Let's Play here. I think it's a good wrapping up point. I mean, I've already built a house and got situated. Um, so I'm going to call this episode now, and I'll probably mine for a little bit. And then when I come back in my next episode, I'll have collected some resources. So this is Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed episode one of my new Let's Play series. Take it easy.